alternative search engine traffic. That's what the topic of Ben's Business Podcast, episode number 59, will be about today. If you have any questions about it, please post any questions in. And if you're live today, please leave in the comments hashtag live. If you're what they hashtag replay. And any, any questions throughout, put them in and I'll make sure I answer them today. I'll leave them at the end to answer your questions. So alternative traffic sources from other search engines such as rather than all because of what I've been doing is I've really been focusing on Google for a long time. Ask me why do I always talk about Google when I talk about search engines? There are other search engines out there uh, such as Yahoo, Bing and, and then Google. So Google on average over the years it's been taken up at least 80% of the, the sort of market or search, people who search. And that's why I focus so much on Google all the time when I talk about search engine optimization. Because if you go all in on that, there's plenty of traffic for your business there. And thanks for joining, Christine. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions. So I hope you like the topic of today. So according, I've got some stats on this as well because I think it's quite important to some real up to date 2019 stats. So. Uh, in 2018, November 2018, Google had 73% of the searches uh, powered through Google, and 7.19% was through, uh, and that's according to Net Market Share Report. So, other data about this is that Bing has 20, uh, this is from the Bing themselves, they have 21% share of the desktop search market. So that I know that that's because when I watch my dad buy a PC and any sort of uh, Windows PC, by default, they're put onto the Bing by default when they go on a search browser. They're using Microsoft, they're using Win, they're using Bing search engine. Sorry about the siren. I hope you soon. Okay, so because for that reason, I can see that as sort of looking through where it's really untapped because people are really focusing on this area of getting all their traffic through Google. Well, everyone's doing that. It's that saying when, when zigging, we zag. So try, have a look, just do a quick search for your business on Google, on uh, Google and on Bing. Hear it and see if your competitors are ranking higher than, uh, than you are on Bing, then and, and maybe they're not showing up. So they're taking that sort of 10% extra traffic that we can get for your business through Bing. But exciting if you've not even thought about Bing before because you've been focused so much on Google, even like myself. So I'm now generating an extra 10% of all my clients, all my business partners, and even my own businesses, uh, traffic Bing itself. So that's going to be a big focus of, uh, of our VERS for 2000. And I thought I would share this uh, perspective in this idea as well as well other so as Apple as well has uh, another another way of getting alternative from search changes because Apple has a, a search search in itself as well. One thing when I go into Bing and say for, for example a business partner I'm doing search engine optimization for we are completely wiping the floor on Google for search rankings and all the towns and uh, across the UK and uh, all the big cities. But then we look on Bing, we weren't doing as well. So that all, all I see that is, is that's exciting because now there's a great increase that sort of 10% of our traffic. And one, a couple of ways that we can do that. If you're in the same position, you notice that you're not ranking as highly on Bing. First step to doing that is look at your organic search results. So that's the results that show up just below the adverts. Look at your listing. So if it's a local search, you show up on those maps and Bing has maps just like Google Maps and the places they're called, Google Places um, or Google My Business. Bing has the exact same system and they also have Bing ads, just like Google ads. So all three of these steps to get ourselves on showing up on and have ability on Bing as well as Google. So it's a great untapped place if you've not even thought about that before. So that's a couple of places to start. Um, I know that Bing 
have a system. If you're doing Google ads and pay-per-click advertising on Google to show up on those top four results on the ads that show up when you search for something, if you've got a campaign there, you can actually import campaign from Google ads over to Bing. So you don't actually have to do all the keyword set up and the campaign set up. It can do that for you. You can set your over in Bing. So you set a, a small budget on Bing as well as your Google ads. And that just increases your traffic quite dramatically because Again, I've got more here, 400 million monthly desktop searches on the Bing network in the UK. That's just the UK I'm talking about. So 400 million monthly desktop searches, and that's, again, just desktops as well. So think of, like the, the amount of traffic that's going to, through Google, and 10%, like even if it is just 7% or 10% of that uh, is going, there's a, uh, there's a lot of traffic there being missed if we don't touch that. So set up your ads, set up on Google, on Bing Places. So I've got the website link for that. That's bing.com. And you can add your business into the map places and map routes for businesses in Bing. So when someone searches something locally, such as rents in Edinburgh, that you show up on Bing as well as Google. So if you're already on Google. Another way to make sure that you show up there, as I notice when I search for my business partner business, they actually scraped the data from Yelp, from Foursquare and from Yelp.com. So when you submit your business details, your name, company name, company address, your company phone number, and maybe a couple of photos. Add all that to Yelp, Yelp, for, and automatically search engines that are clever enough, like Google and Bing, will scrape that information and stick it onto systems for you eventually. But one way to kind of enforce that is just to do it manually and go to bingplaces.com and submit your business details to there. And at least that way you correct details for your business because they might scrape it from an old directory listing you submitted a few years ago. So it's worth going over to make sure the right phone numbers are there, calls are coming to you, emails are coming to you, and they're, they're, your website link's even in there because that for SEO purposes, search engine optimization, that's a good backlink. So we can get our businesses over onto uh, directory, directories such as the ones I've listed, and also get manually input ourselves into Bing places and Google My Business as well if you want. Another place that we are probably missing out, uh, like I talked about ads, uh, if you can import your campaign into Bing ads, what you can also do if you've not set up an account through Bing before you probably have a Windows account like if you've got a Hotmail email address you probably have an account or if you've got a Skype account you most likely have a Microsoft Windows account of some sort and that therefore you'll be logged into Bing when you go uh, if you're not you can set up a new account and I think either way if you've never set up ads on Bing uh, in the UK and we, we get a hundred pounds which is about maybe twenty dollars free advertising budget through Bing and that's just free credit for signing up. There's no catch to it. Um, maybe that will change over time. People watch this video live or later. If they watch it in a month's time, it might have changed. But right now, we're getting £100 free uh, Bing advertising just for signing up. So that's definitely the first step to take is get some free uh, advertising for your bill over on Bing and make sure you're ranking and showing up there. And that will be – you get – a uh, cost per click so it can be like a per click until that ad budget's gone and you can re reoccur that ad budget so you're always showing up on the top first page of Bing for search results that you're currently not showing up and appearing for so it's just about increasing our visibility and looking at a different approach Alan Google 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 where all the busyness is let's have a look at the other way and see uh, Bing so the other Apple voice search so Apple has a map listing. So when I search into my phone, it's yourself for your own business. So again, I'm using a business partner's business. I searched for them. I searched for their business, like a location in, in Scotland. And they were they there wasn't showing up originally. So I made sure I submitted our business into Apple Maps. So the business is now appearing on, Google, on, on Apple Maps. So when, when I search that from my phone, and this could be any type of voice search. This could be if you're on an Android and you do a voice. That it's just to make sure that you're still ranking when people search and do that voice search. So when I search for like exa another example, a, a restaurant in Edinburgh on voice search, 
the rest are different on that search result as I typed it into my desktop PC or through Google. So that's a, a big, uh, a very important thing because there's people by default using different browsers that you show up. So you just have to make sure that you show up in all these places that are kind of blind to you and clients are going ahead and working with your competitors because of these little things that you're like slip. So don't let it slip through the crack. Make sure you show up on Apple. Make sure you show up on Bing. Make sure you show up Yahoo, just everything. But I think the the, the fact is that Yahoo is powered by Bing search now. So Bing and Yahoo merged a good while ago. So that I'm sure Yahoo is such small uh, not to worry about. It's Bing that we want to focus on because it's at least 7% 7, 7 of the market share or more, 10%. It's never been higher than as far as I believe. Um, but they seem to be the, the, the only competition for Google. And it's a massive market, the search engine, because Google are taking it all just now. So Bing are the only people can answer for uh, competition uh, for, for Google. So kind of uh, trying them and uh, see, see how they can do it. So 10% of the market and a very big market. So they're doing pretty well. And this is Microsoft, remember. So they've got a massive budget there in the top, uh, top 20 Forbes list. So... Uh, they've got Google have got their their work cut out them behind, but Google have always been ahead. So just have a look at that. Look at different angles. Just adapt that type of thinking as well in any type of marketing you're doing. If everyone's going this way, have a look at this this wee sort of five percent market where you can get some extra traffic for for free or even uh, paid, but at a low cost, so a low entry. So that's voice search, Apple search, and I've got some stats here about uh, voice search as well. The the growth in like the stats of fifty eight percent of voice search users look for local businesses every single day. So just make sure that when you search for your company, just test that out just now. That, that's an action step for you. Search for your business through Bing. Search for your business through Search, whatever kind of app or phone that you're using, whatever browser it is, and see if you show up. And if you don't, do it, and you can actually uh, submit your business again to Apple Maps as well, and the, the, the Bing Maps as well as Google Maps, so that you show up on that. Because when I search that on Apple Maps, an option to get directions to the company, or I get options to go to their website, and I get options to call them. So for ease, because everything's getting easier, we're using Alexas as well. So when people say, Alexa, search for a restaurant. And if you've not submitted yourself to that specific, whatever comes in Alexa's voice search, if you've not let yourself to come up there, Alexa won't list, you won't be on that list, you won't be read out to that person. So they'll be blind to even existing. So just make sure that you show up on that. And you, it's, it's up to you to test that, the, test that sure the consumer can find you. Um, so I hope you found that helpful. That's the market share of Google versus Bing. Google's dominant. Definitely focus on Google if you're not if you're not donating on Google yet. But have a look at the alternatives like Bing, Apple, and get yourself on on the organic, the local map listings, and pay for some advertising because you have to pay to to be found these days. It does just a boost where you, you're probably missing out by trying to get free traffic all the time. So it's it's almost like uh, for for the impatient, <laughs> don't want to wait for search engineization, which can take months. Uh, you can pay for advertising now while you try to rank yours for, in the free results. So that's a couple of ways to do it. And add your business to business directories to add your, it's called citations, add your name, address, number to lots of areas in uh, website across the internet and Google will pick that up and scrape that information. Bing will pick that information up and present it at listings as well. So if, if you're a local business, that will definitely benefit you and pay for ads. So that's a couple of tips for you to take and I hope you found this video helpful. If you've got any questions and, and if you're watching the replay, just leave the hashtag replay and I'll be happy to answer your questions. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.